Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. Today we're going to make some new jack swing. You will get the project files for free if you go to BusyWorksBeats.com slash Better Beatmaker. I'll leave a link below. So we're going to go step by step. We're going to use some rolling stuff today and uh, let me play some sound. All right, so we're playing F minor nine into C minor nine into uh, G something, and then into C minor. So let's record this. So at the ending, I changed it so that it tricks the ear. You expect to hear, uh, you know, the return back to C, but then we move into F. Technically, A minor on top and then F in the bass. So this is a deceptive cadence. Long, you don't need to <laughs> memorize all this. Okay. Here are the chords. Just copy them if you want. You will get the project files for free, so no need to, like, memorize anything. Let's turn this down, though. All right, so one thing about New Jack Swing, they had a crazy bounce and they used a lot of swing. Now, the thing is, I'm going to turn off. How are we going to do this? I'm going to turn off the swing per the instruments. So here I don't want swing to affect the chords. So I'm going to turn that off. But I do want it on the drums. I'm going to record with my typing keyboard. Let's turn the metronome on and right click up here. Layout piano C4. So you can play your comma is middle C. I meant to do an ending, so let's re-record the ending there. Uh, let's do... I don't know, the ending could be better, okay. Now the swing perimeter is up way too much, let's turn it back. Now, the more swing, the better for this genre. The snare is pretty much on the same spot, but we'll record it by hand so it has a nice timing. Now, it's probably going to have a snare ending, so... Let's do something like that. Let's see if we could fit that in at the end. Ta 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 ta. Darn it, I recorded it on the wrong snare. That was an accident. Let's do the poison snare. Ta 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 ta. Okay, so let's see if that. It's kind of hard because with the swing, it's like, do you quantize? Because I'm playing with natural swing. So it's like the swing is adding more swing to me naturally. Let me just hear what it sounds like without swing. Some of these kicks are, I'm just going to fix little chunks. The only thing about playing by hand is you got to fix all these microscopic things. Let's try to fix. Like right here, I'm just super early. So let's just move this. Like right here, it could be better. So I'm just going to nudge this to the right. Don't need the kicks at the ending. 
I'm gonna wait for you to do it. Actually, yeah, it's a pretty nice combo. Okay. So now we need percussion to keep us. So I have some. I think. Here we go. I'm just trying to record. I know I'm moving a little bit quicker here, but these are just layers. Now I'm recording this. Kicks are a little sloppy. At the last one, I'm going to change that up. I feel like this could be quantized. Let me see what quantized swing sounds like. I normally don't like quantized swing, but let's just. Like it. It's not even quantizing to the right. This is going to be a task to get this groove right. Um, and I don't want to obsess about it, but let's turn up the swing. Sounds a little more predictable when it's quantized, but still have swing on it. And luckily with this genre, you can get away with a ton of swing. So let me fix one of these kicks. Now let's see what, figure out what the issue is here. So swing. Swing makes it sound 10 times better. Quantize swing. So the only thing is the snares are like effed up. It goes, it's all over the place. So let me quantize this, but to a really small grid. It's got to fix. I don't know. This. Some stuff is just better played by hand. I'm trying to decide, should we? Oh, I know why it sounds messed up. It's because the swing is on this sound, so let's take it off. All right, as you can see, this is the hardest part. We'll get the project files for free if you go to busyworksbeats.com slash better beatmaker. Just gotta get this to line up. This is the tricky part because it needs to line up, but it's you don't wanna quantize it too much. This is the hard part. And you need it to have swing. So that's like the triple hard part. You need to quantize it, make it not feel quantized, and give it swing. I think it's just that these snares. Okay, I think it's just snares are just off timing. So da 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 da. -da. Okay, so funny enough, quantized sounds the best. That just took a while. So I'm trying to stay away from hi-hats for this genre and use more percussion. Like tet 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 one two three tet 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 one two three. 
quantize this because clearly quantize is the key here. So we're going to add these like random sound effects. One, two, three. So there's little stuff like this. We're going to quantize. Um, I'm trying to think what else we need to add. Let's add this background percussion. So you can't really tell that's there. It's very, very quiet. But also, the sound is a little too much low end. I'm going to quickly add a high pass filter. Get rid of that low. what other sounds we got rolling sounds will blow up your computer i like them but cpu heavy i'm gonna add this very subtly low volume here it's crazy how quantized this genre actually is i thought it was more hand played, especially the bass. It just sounds way better quantized. Darn it, I just recorded something by accident. All right, let's do pattern five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, so it's low type thing. Quantize. Okay, so here's where we start adding this type of stuff, the bass. Um, oh man, FL crashed. Hold up, y'all. All right, we got FL back up. So let's record the bass and maybe some synths to go over top of all this. So we're going to stick to that F minor, C minor, G, whatever chord, back to C minor. And I might do change ups along the way. Who knows? All right, so let's just. Go up and down those chords with the bass. It's kind of hard to play this because I'm playing with like this bounce and it's kind of hard to play. So I got to try it a couple times. but whatever. Nice bounce. This human timing adds to that bounce, that bass being on, it's not like computerized, so it adds to the bounce to the track. Instead of all the drums being all wonky and like off beat. I forgot I did a change up. So here I gotta do the change up. F major and then I forgot what it was. So it kind of sounds cool. I might have to do like bass runs. Let's group all those. Like like that, stuff like that. So let's add that. Ow, I hurt my finger. I'm just trying to figure out where to add it. So 
it's good at the end. Nice little type of thing. Still need like a doom 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 something like that. We need like a bell or some kind of contract. Dun 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 dun. We're already pretty high on CPU. So what I'll do, let me try to think for a second. Pattern one only has one sound, which is the chords. We could print the chords. The chords don't need to be. All right, another thing we could print is the um, the orchestra hit sample, this. This could really be a, like a one shot, but let's print that. No master effects. So another thing they did with New Jack Swing is velocity changes, but I don't feel like going through all the little tat tat tat. -ta. So on that tat 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 part, we're on a snare. Let me find that snare. We're gonna go tat 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 -ta, like that. Lower the velocity. So it's that velocity change up that adds a bounce too. melodic idea so let's swap this now we have that printed we don't need that really uh, i'm going to replace that with the sampler just so we have the notes and where we at sampler actually let me think for a second let's replace all of these with the sampler that we don't need okay we have that these are all one shots and then uh, serum, and then here. Okay, so the bass is still active. We don't need this. Let's replace this with a sampler. So that will save up some CPU and still keep the notes. Let's save as a new version though, so it doesn't. So now I want a new instrument. I'm just trying to decide what do we want. We definitely need a bell sound. So I'll just go to Xenology. This is like the Omnisphere of Roland. Basically, it just has, pardon me, all the go-to sounds for the brand. Okay, let's go to Bell. I would do Synth Bell Pad, but where do they label bells in here? Let me see. Bell. I didn't mark any bells. Okay, so, okay. Uh, let me play the track and kind of preview bells here. <laughs>
better, but what else? Remember to take off swing for this. By default, swing applies to everything automatically. I was wondering why the bass sound is so jumpy. It's because the swing's on it. About to say, I know I didn't play that funky. That's the uh, swing parameter. I feel like it needs a stronger melody. But maybe this is where the sample and the um, vocal comes into play. I don't want to over like fill the beat. I think this is where. All right, let's space this. I feel like the snare needs a reverb. I'm gonna add direct reverb on the snare. I'm trying to think which space do I want it to go in. Um, The AMS RMX. Now I know I'm using direct reverb. I'm trying to figure out which. Definitely want like a plate verb. Let me just figure out where it's at. Preset. Trying to go through presets. So now let's solo the snare. So now you can hear it has its own space. Let's turn it down a little bit. Like there's where we could have done a key change, but we already got rid of our chord sound. Let me think. I forgot what we even used for the chords. Oh, was it the JD800? Oh, dang, I forgot what we used. Um, hmm. I thought it was. Was it this? No. Darn y'all, I forgot what I used for the chords. My bad. Could load up the other project, but it's not that serious. It's gotta figure out some kind of pad sound. What the heck did I use? I'm trying to think. Was it the 1080? Might have been the 1080. Uh, the uh, e-piano in there. Let me, I know I'm, not gonna remember, but at least we could try electric piano. Let's, I think it was the MK80, if I'm not mistaken. Nah, that's the one there. Okay, it was the MK80. Okay, saving this. Okay, so now I want the chords to change, but still feel like they're in the same key. So I'm trying to figure out what we could do here. Instead of playing F minor. Hmm, I'm trying to think. What we could do is we can go to the relative key, but I'm trying to decide here. Or we could just go to a parallel key and see what that creates. Just need to count in. I right, said so we're playing the same chords, just this time major chords. Oh, that was the wrong chord. Duh. Okay, that's probably why. Okay. Hmm, debating how we should do this. Let's do sharp five, sharp nine. It's a little difficult because I don't play that naturally, so I'm going to probably record. It 
it's gonna be a little difficult off the top of my head, but let's record this. And I already messed up. <laughs> let's do this again. Okay, I might do. Something like that. I don't know. Let's try it. All right. So I know the bass is playing whatever. That's in the, the other parallel key. What I was trying to do here is a Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, so I was trying to do a f sharp like that. I messed up there. All right, so the notes and the melody are also for the first part. Just keep everything melodically over there. Even the hit could probably change. Actually, the hit's playing the root note. Now we're in a parallel key. We went from the minor to the major. To transition, usually you're gonna use your dominant chord. This chord we need to fix. Let's do. So we're doing F to the fifth of F, which is C, and then we're doing the uh, dominant of C using a tritone substitution, then we're doing two, five, one, back to C. Now what we could do is go back to the minor and the vibe doesn't fit, but it could work though. I like this other thing have more something to it. Was that maybe that wasn't the right? What the heck sound did I use? Darn, sounds padsy. I'm trying to think, where would I get a pad sound from? Maybe it was the JD eight hundred. Now I'm like second guessing myself. All right. Definitely wasn't that. Was it this? It might have been this actually. Crystal EPs. I feel like that's closer because it has that sheen to it. It's just hard. I forgot what I. What is that sound? I guess it was this one. Oh, here it is. Fantasia 90. Okay. Yeah, I'm saving this. All right, you guys will get the project files. I know I'm going back and forth, but I was trying to figure out what preset I was using. That's why clearing presets isn't the greatest thing, but um, you got to do it for space sometimes. Found the sound. Okay, thank goodness. Now we need to redo the bass for this part. What we could do actually to save time is just make the bass unique and then transpose all the notes. It's a little, excuse me, it's a little difficult because we have to highlight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take all these notes here, hit shift up. Actually, let's just do it for both. Hit shift up, so now it's a major. And then here and here, hit shift up. Now it's a major chord. And then I forgot what you're doing. Okay, so it still works. Could be better at the ending, but 
All right, CPU is going nuts on this base. So let's print the base and the pads. It's going to take a little bit. All right, we got the base, and then let's do the pads. Boom. Turn off master effects. Okay, we got the pads, got the base, let's slice off the rest. So it's taken a little bit to compose this, but as you can see, it's different layers. Let's do pad. And do we what happened to the base? Something messed up at the base. Hold up. Maybe that's just how I played. That sounds off beat though. Oh my goodness, FL, effing stuff up. All right, so I think when I printed the audio, it like nudged it to the right or something. I don't know why it does that on waves. Shouldn't be doing that with plug-in delay compensation, but I'm not here to complain. I feel like we could add some kind of melody. Missing like maybe the bell. missing. There's too many things going on. Like the bell is doing too much. And I feel like we opened the song too early with the bass. So it's a lot of decisions arrangement wise. Let's slice everything. Still feel like there's, maybe it's just the vocals. Once you produce and add vocals, that's when you'll realize what you need to take away and add. So it's really not done until the vocals are on it. See how we stripped out the sounds and it sounds much more clear. Probably could have just did a doom 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 type bass. Let's see what that would sound like. Alright, I think the bass where is the bass? Which section is it? Yeah, it just sounds better. Dun, 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 dun. Very simple, not trying to like overly do the bass. I forgot the chords though, so that's, I think, it, let me see, what are the chords? So the chords are F, C, and then the dominant chord, okay, I forgot. Da -da 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 -da. It's taking a little bit to arrange all this, but hopefully you guys get the gist.
remember we need to quantize so it has swing. This one. Dun, dun. I don't know why my, oh, I know why it's the hit is hitting it. That's why. Then he's like, something like that. I don't know if I like this part. Okay, so F, A, B, E. Now we're playing the seventh, or excuse me, the third and the fifth of that. And then I'm trying to decide. I guess you could add. And then, something like that. Play that. At least it sounds like a slide. Let's quantize these. Just realize I quantized the slide note. That slide was kind of sloppy, but whatever. This should be. Usually for a new jack swing, you're not going downwards. It sounds sad. If you go upwards, it's different. But whatever. That bass note could be better and the ending could be better. I was trying to do this, the dominant chord. So I did play it. It's played some other notes here. It was a sloppy timing. All right. This is so tedious. Oh my goodness. Let's just do it again. It's not that important of a section, but let's at least do it. It's kind of hard to play with that swing. Stop messing with the bass.
see if I can see if I can add like a little background synth. I think we're just missing hi hats at this point, or like percussion.
don't know if we needed a synth. I don't know. Uh, you guys can add a synth. So I'll let this beat play twice through. We've already messed with it enough. Let's see how long we've been on this. Probably an hour. Yeah, 46 minutes. All right, so let's play it twice through. You guys will get the project files for free. Just go to busyworksbeats.com slash better beatmaker. I'll leave a link below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video. Peace.